but most of the time, high blood pressure is a simple calcium deficiency. And when you give adequate amounts of calcium, it goes away. So this begs the question, well, what are adequate amounts of calcium? Well, if you're 200 pounds or less, your calcium requirements on a daily basis are about 1,200 milligrams. 1,200 milligrams of calcium a day need to go down the hatch. 1,200 milligrams of calcium a day need to go down the hatch. Remember, you can't get calcium from inside the body. The body can't make it. Now, where does calcium come from? It comes from the soil. So plants grow in the soil. Plants suck the calcium and the other minerals that are in the soil out of the soil, metabolize them. As the plant metabolizes the mineral, the form of the mineral changes. It changes from a metallic form to a colloidal form. From a metallic form to a colloidal form. The colloidal form of the mineral is extremely easy for your body to absorb. So we get calcium from plant. We can also get calcium from milk, but if the cow or the goat or the sheep or the camel is eating grass or grain that was grown in soil that didn't have any calcium in it, then there is not adequate amounts of calcium in the milk. Calcium and all other minerals are only found in the soil. But they're not evenly spread out in the soil, which therefore means unless you are actively supplementing your diet with medicinal calcium, chances are you're calcium deficient. Now, you know, when it comes to nutritional supplements, the recipe is everything. So let's say you have high blood pressure and you want to try to control it or get on the other side of it, optimize your circulation, support and promote your circulatory system's ability to have health with a calcium supplement. All right. Well, you know you need 1,200 milligrams. So you go to the health food store and you buy a bottle of calcium that says 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate in one cap. It's about $30 a bottle. So you can do math, right? You need 1,200 milligrams. You've got 500. So what are you going to do? You're going to take three. Well, as it turns out, in one 500 milligram capsule of calcium carbonate, there is approximately 200 milligrams of calcium and 300 milligrams of carbonate. Sorry. It's your stomach's job to split this molecule in two, liberating the calcium. Well, all right, you think, holy smokes, I thought I was getting 500. I'm only getting 200. <coughs> you can still do math. So 1,200 is the goal. How many are you going to take? Six. Going to hit it right on the head, right? Well, not so much because... Calcium from calcium carbonate is about 15% bioavailable in the human body, which means you're lucky if you're going to pull 30 milligrams of usable calcium from one 500 milligram cap. Now, the goal is 1,200. To reach that, you need 40. But that's just for maintenance. Remember, we're trying to get on the other side of an illness, so you'd need more. You need 60 a day get on the other side of high blood pressure, which is how many there are in the bottle, you need one bottle a day. Most people take three, which is why it doesn't work. With nutritional supplements, the recipe is everything. It is everything. Now, Longevity's nutritional supplements are informed by $25 million of federally funded research 26,000 autopsies, 10 million blood chemistries and histopathologies, and over close to 40 years of clinical work by the most researched and lauded naturopathic physician in the world, the guy that wrote the book on medical nutrition. Now, Dr. Joel Wallach, the founder of Longevity. Now, Dr. Wallach's calcium supplement contains, in one fluid ounce, 1,200 milligrams of calcium, which is 95% bioavailable, rendering approximately 11 
100 milligrams of calcium per ounce. Now, riddle me this, Batman. What's better, 30 milligrams or 1100? Take your time. Take your time. 1100. Exactly correct. You need 1100 milligrams. It's better. You need 1200, so 1100 is better than 30, right? Right. This is how we fixed Coretta Scott King's knees and Theo Ratliff's body and thousands of other people's musculoskeletal systems with science based, clinically verified medical nutrition developed and delivered by licensed, regulated, naturopathic physicians whose job it is to know everything there is to know about medical nutrition. There is no other nutritional supplement company in the world that uses Dr. Wallach's research and Dr. Wallach's clinical experience. There's no other nutritional supplement company that even comes close to this combination. $25 million of federally funded research, almost 40 years of applied clinical work by licensed, regulated, naturopathic physicians. you got to be kidding me. It does not get any better than that, which is why Longevity nutritional supplements make such a remarkable difference in the lives of practically everybody who takes them. Now, we're going to talk about the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty right now of the longevity calcium supplements to see if we can understand the differences and how to apply them appropriately. <clears throat> so, the oldest calcium supplement that longevity offers is called Ultimate Osteo FX. That was the original calcium supplement, Ultimate Osteo FX. Then came Beyond. Osteo FX. Get it? That's how it got its name. It was Ultimate Osteo FX 2.0. So they called it Beyond Osteo FX, right? So, <clears throat> the original <clears throat> Ultimate Osteo FX followed by Beyond Osteo FX. Let's break it down and look to see what the difference is. Now, you can see that the vitamin D3 is the same. Well, no, I'm sorry, the vitamin D3 in the Beyond Osteo FX is four times as much as it is in the Ultimate Osteo FX. Four times as much vitamin D3. This was because when Beyond Osteo FX was developed, the research was showing that vitamin D3 increase the absorbability of calcium to a statistically significant amount. So it's called the practice of medicine for a reason. We learn, adapt, and change. Learn, adapt, and change. So in the second iteration of calcium, longevity maintained the state of rest of the current research and increased the vitamin D3 level. Very smart. You see it's the same amount of calcium, 1,200 milligrams per dose. Phosphorus stayed the same. Magnesium went from 200 in the old one to 300 in the Beyond Osteo FX, again, keeping abreast of the research. <clears throat> because remember, this is holistic medical nutrition. It's not just about calcium. It's not just about vitamin C. It's not just about selenium. It's about all 90 essential nutrients in a holistic, balanced recipe. The intention of which is to, is to deliver the maximum bang for the buck. So we adapt and we change. Increase the magnesium a little bit because that's what the research indicates we do. So we're going to do it. Uh, zinc. 5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, it's the same boron, it's the same methyl sulfonylmethane, otherwise known as MSM, the same 
Glucosamine sulfate the same. However, the glucosamine sulfate in the original calcium was from shellfish. The glucosamine sulfate in Beyond Osteo Effects is from vegetable sources, not from shellfish. This was a big change for those following a kosher lifestyle, for those who have religious prohibitions against shellfish, and quite frankly, for people who are allergic to shellfish. So this was really the biggest change. And the addition of strontium. In my opinion, this, I think, was the most important addition to the Beyond Osteo FX. Now, you know, if I was allergic to shellfish, I might think the shellfish-free glucosamine was the most important thing. But the strontium is cutting-edge medical nutrition. I mean, it is the tip of the spear of medical nutrition. And strontium is very, very, very useful and helpful to increase the strength of bone in the human body. Increase the strength of bone and the structural integrity of the bone. 